If you're a person with big goals and are determined to reach that thing that I know you're thinking about right now, or you just want a different life than you're currently situated in, you will without doubt come across different struggles, difficulties, experience rejections, feel like life constantly gets in the way, there isn't enough hours, and sometimes it will feel like it's just too hard. And I am here to tell you that I know it's hard, I know, but don't give up. And to not just leave you with a plain statement that sounds like an inspirational quote, I want to give you five ways how to mentally get yourself up and better deal with moments where it just feels like you want to give up. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first tip I want to give you is to remember your why. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to reach this goal? This challenges you to step out of the victim mindset and just focus on this thing that you want to reach. Plus, if you don't know your why, it is a great time to kind of understand it and have a conversation with yourself. I think sometimes we can have 15, 20 goals at the same time and uh, we don't even know why we're doing it. And what if some of the goals are not even that important to us? We're just doing it for completely different reasons. So this is a very crucial first step. Ask yourself, why? Why is this important to me? Why do I want to reach this? The second tip is picture the end result. Already picturing that you're living the life that you're striving for or having that thing that you're striving for, let that be career success or abs if you want to get abs or lose weight or have a family. By picturing that constantly and having that image, it lights a spark in you to drive towards that life. It's very, very important to kind of imagine the things that you want that you already have them. For example, one of my many goals, I think that's why it gets too hard often, I have too many, but one of my physical goals, let's say that, is to run the marathon. I've been training for over a year now, and uh, like I said at the start of the video, with anything where you're dreaming big and you wanna reach something that is challenging to you, without doubt there will be challenges, and I came across them when I kind of, I don't wanna say injured, but messed up my knee. And now I am very grateful for that experience, but at the time, it seemed like a big struggle. I stopped training for over two months and I've started completely from zero. And I know that sometimes it almost feels like asking yourself, is this even worth it? Like I'm back again at zero. But when I picture myself and I do this a lot, if I'm running, I picture myself running the marathon and crossing the finish line. I picture myself how I'm feeling, and I kid you not, uh, sometimes I even start almost crying because I picture the joy that I will have when I will run the full marathon. This is just to give you an example how much it can give you emotionally and mentally by just picturing that you are reaching what you wanted to reach. And by living through that dream, when you get back to the reality, it just lights a fire, lights a spark. You wanna keep pushing. Picture that you already have what you're striving for. The third tip is I won't quit mindset. This is very, very important. If not the most important tip from all of these five because once you have this mindset nothing can push you down now what do i mean by that you will fall down you will have bad days i have bad days everyone has bad days but you will always get up because quitting will not even be an option i am very very happy that this is something that I have kind of learned, but it didn't come from just, okay, so I will never quit. It came from thinking about what's the alternative. So I thought about, okay, if I quit, I get to live, let's say, a completely different life. And at that moment I was like, no, no, there is no way that I will live any other way. And by thinking of the alternative, I realized that there is no option of quitting. I really encourage you to adapt this mindset as well because it will help you not only in reaching your goals, but 
pretty much in every other area in your life. And once you learn to think this way, it will become way more easier to deal with bad days because you won't feel like the world is crumbling. You will just feel like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Having a tough day. I'm not quitting. I'm just, I'm taking a breather and then I'm getting right back on track. The fourth point is watch, learn, and consume information from people that inspire you. This is also very, very powerful. I really think that what drives us forward is being inspired and believing that we can. Although it's important that we learn how to get to that place ourselves, we can't deny that if we see other people who have reached their goals or if they're saying things that make you feel better about yourself, it helps. If you can get that from your friends, amazing, or your family, also amazing, that's even better. But sometimes you can't. We don't choose our family, we choose our friends, but we don't choose our family. And if you are stuck in a situation where you feel like your family doesn't support you or doesn't understand you, that is okay. Seek out that information on the internet, on social media. That's the beauty of modern day, you know, technology. You can connect with so many different people just by opening your laptop or switching on your computer or going to your phone. And I really encourage you to do this. The last tip I want to give you is to work on your confidence and the affirmations you say to yourself. Now, why am I saying this? If you're feeling like it's too hard and uh, you want to give up, there is a possibility that you haven't been that nice to yourself. Either physically, you haven't allowed yourself to relax or take a pause, or verbally, you have said some horrible things to yourself. I certainly often find that when it gets too hard, I'm sometimes even more harsh to myself. I say things, well, you should do more. You should get up and, and grind and do this and that. And I'm not very loving to myself. And in those moments, I definitely don't believe in myself that much. Work on what are the things that you're saying to yourself. Maybe come up with different positive affirmations that you could say to yourself daily. I wanna actually share something with you. When I started this channel, um, I wrote down two pages of what I want this channel to be, how I want people to feel, and uh, what I will say to myself when it feels like it's, it's too hard. And whenever I feel like something is too hard, I read the things that I said, and it just makes me feel so, so empowered. So really, talk to yourself how you would talk to your child or your best friend. You would be encouraging, you would be supportive. You have to learn how to be that person to yourself. You will live with yourself for the rest of your life. You know, people will come and go, but the person that you will have to live with your whole life is you. Isn't it better if you develop a very sustainable, supportive relationship, a loving relationship? I think you know the answer is yes. First, remember your why. Why are you doing what you are doing? Why are you striving for that goal? Second, picture the end result. Picture yourself reaching that goal. Picture yourself how you're feeling and what are your thoughts and what is the quality of your life, everything. Third, adapt an I won't quit mindset. Just tell yourself that I won't quit. That is not an option, it will never be. Taking a pause is not quitting, remember that as well. Fourth, learn from inspirational people. Consume information that motivates you, inspires you, and makes you want to get up and be better. And five, work on your confidence and the positive affirmations you give to yourself. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing. I talk all about growth and mental health and happiness and fulfillment and everything and anything that I find valuable and that I think you could find valuable as well. You can also leave me a like or a comment. It would help my channel a lot. But for now, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.